and we're live. I'm Handsome Lars, and you're watching this season finale for T Track TTR Championship Season 3. I will be your host for the next yeah, 75 minutes, that sounds about right. And tonight's debate is about points. Because this is a season finale, and we've had some people fight for six weeks now, give or take. And we have a points issue. As you can see above me, two people have a shot at winning. It's Colin Barker and Adam Kurian. And tonight I have something called a spreadsheet open because I'll try to give you live updates on the, the championship standings as they go along this weekend. <clears throat> and to help you, I had a thing. I can find the thing again. There we go. The scoring system, which I haven't actually shown you all season. <clears throat> These are four, four points, eight points, sorry, between Barker and Curian. And there's like five points between first and second. And points for gold position and points for fastest lap. So, shit. It's all... It's all up for grabs now. It is all up for grabs. And we are here at Imola, which once we get to qualifying, any minute now at least, we can, I can give you a guided tour of. But basically, Barger comes into this from a defensive position. Let's adjust myself here. A defensive position, he simply has to keep up with Kurian and hope it's enough. But if you look at it, I mean, he has to finish right behind. He can't finish two positions behind, so he will still have to attack. Now, could we hide that? I am still waiting for qualifying to begin. That should be well, it should be in two minutes. Came out here a bit, a bit hot, I think. Let me just find the intro list for tonight. I have nine windows open, so forgive me. Let's see. Ark and Kurian are obviously there. Hittery in fifth is there. Lipinski in third is there. Headhunter Julian Strasser is there. Um, Low Individuals, Alexis Jones, regular people also here. And so let's see some people we haven't seen that much before. Swain, Davey, and Eleven. What name? Eleven. Ben Eleven. I don't know if he's related to Ben Ten. Now, can I please get some session standings? Because I'm running out of talking points. Clean shirt, clean beard. You're watching here on Julian Strasser's car while we wait for qualifying to begin in earnest. This is, of course, a very modern version of, you know, Gimela. It should be. With the um, Amberello and the good old runoff area and all that. Just cut on here. Because we'll just follow here, it's down to Bassa. Okay, this is in Julian Strauss's car. Into Tamborello. After which you, of course, step on it and go down to Villeneuve, which I have a nasty habit of screwing up. This is put audio on here. That yeah, audio works. Out of Villeneuve, down to Tosa. Which is a rather tight hairpin. You step up it and step on it and you go uphill. Into Piratella. We come down to my favorite part, the Acra Minerali. 
simply just a crazy entry and even crazier exit. A step on it again. Of course here, coming down to the slowest part of the track, Vajande Alta. 15 out of 19 corners done. And we actually go to qualifying then. Gee, thanks. But basically all you're missing are two left turns. So let's see who is going to be the first one out. It is going to be our man in blue, number two, Adam Kurian. Or no, he's just going to park because that's how he feels like it. He's going to wait for Barker to come out. I think. No, he is not. Well, that's fine. That is fine. The Barger has run a very conservative, very stable season. Hasn't taken as uh, many wins or as many crashes as other people. And that's why he's leaving. Albeit only by eight points. Another guy here who could have been contending is Sultan Petery. Who is suffering from the fact that he has missed, I think, two weekends. Or two race events. Which doesn't help, but he could have been up there in P3 at least. And Paul Stopinski, who is actually P3. Well, he suffers from crashing his car once a race. And it's unfortunate, but he's just had the worst luck. Of anyone. I see. Back to Julian here because. Finished my track lap. Down into the Vallanda Alta. Then down to Drivazza. I believe it's pronounced. Two very. Um, Okay, you, you do that kick first, and then Rivazza. Two very interesting 90 degree turns, because you don't see that many 90 degree turns, if you ask me. And you step on it, and you have a million kilometer long straight as Julian Strasser is going to begin his lap. He is not the man we're going to be watching, though. We have to go one down and look at Colin Barker. And I'll just take a moment to say, if you want to join... By all means, we will be taking on new people for Season 4, which should begin in 3 or 4 weeks. It is going to be mostly free content, starter pack content, and a couple of tracks we have raced before. So by all means, if you want to join, I will go for a win. Discord link into chat in a hot moment. That hot moment being now. I see Julian throwing a bit of gravel. Just to maybe annoy Barker, I don't know. Of course, Barker with a purple sector. There is one point for pole position. Or rather, the winner of the qualifying session. Which isn't a lot, but it could be the one that matters. And... Grand has decided to take a spin into the altar. This isn't that far ahead of uh, where Barker is, and where is Julian? Now he's still up there, never mind. Now let's see. Going left. Go we left. And standing on it. Let's see what the benchmark time is gonna be. It is gonna be a 154-117. Which is not a bad time, but he can definitely slice a second off that. Petery, however, has sliced a second off. 153.4. 
Is Kurian on a lap? Kurian is on a lap. Going up here, out of the Tulsa. Aggressive move, he is on the hunt. Nine people here today. Uh, 20 laps in the first race, 26 in the other. But you still want a good position because he will have to catch Barker. And they have the same pace. Ooh, over a second ahead in Sector 2. Ooh, and he gets... Oh, that's some snaking. That is some snaking. It will not help him. It will have to be a banker lap. Is that fact in invalid laps? So we'll go back to Barker. Not that far behind. Or in fact, he's in front of him. And he's on the purple one. And... Look at the line, let's look at the line. 153, 384. Behind him, Julian comes in at a 154.6, and Petery immediately spawns with a 153.3. Well, maybe this is his track. Alexis Jones, often thought to be a bit of a backmarker, is apparently doing a 154.6 beating Julian Strasser. Very surprising, he hasn't been that amazing. The Curran is back on his grind, back on a lap. Just see Colin Barger behind him. And this is a purple sector. Or is it? Barger is also on a purple sector, but Curran is actually faster. Eating a lot of curb. Don't lose it this time. The car, the lab is still valid. The lab is still valid. Double purple. I'm also being told Eatery has purple sector, so we're gonna see three hot laps coming in now, starting with Curian. One fifty two to zero. Holy, holy crap, that was fast. Arger has nothing in response. And here comes Petery just to make it matters worse. No, no, and no. Curian demolishes them over a second ahead. We have not seen this. At any point this season, I need mumps. It needs to gravel. Well, well, well. That's gonna be a hard time to beat. But Barker will um, be looking at at least taking out Petery. Is in turn running his own little fastest sector as he takes over Julian. Ooh. Yeah, that's an invalid lap. That's a valid lap according to the computer. Back to Barger. That is far out, but ah, that might be Petery, though. We'll have to see. Still 
still here? Nope. He is gonna lose by four... Four hundreds. There we go. So there's that. Now let's look down the grid a bit here. Arena Richards with a 154 free. Two tens behind him. Julian Stresser again. And we have a yellow flag coming here. Little yellow flex. Kyrian really driving aggressive today. Sorry. Um, two tens behind Lovina Richards. We have Julian Strasser. The League at Honcho. And as I say that, Paul Stopinski um, decides to make a mess of it. And we'll deal with him. He's P4. 154-2. Alexis Jones is on a 154-6. Which I believe was his first lap. He hasn't said anyone since then. Ian Swain, in what I think is his second race, is at a 155.6. And James Davey might be his second or third race, I'm not entirely sure. Well, he's just begun a lap, and he'll hope it's less than two minutes in length. Let's go look at him. No pressure, buddy. Except maybe from behind. Oh, uh, that's, that's not how you do it. Well, ignore that. Let's go back to... Pinsky. Now, if you are watching tonight, um, come say hi. Sometimes it gets so lonely in here, you know? And it's always nice to take some questions or some comments from the chat. As Stopinski just takes the rebel instead. So back to Lorinovicius. A little purple sector might bring him into the 50 freeze. Could bring him into the 50 freeze at least. Oh wait, what am I reading here? 33 8. Oh, that ain't gonna work though, is it? Audio levels. It could be louder, I think. It could be a lot louder. I'll adjust myself in the seat. Lovin' Riches, double green, personal best. What can he make of it? That should be 54 free. Not enough to do P4. I think he'll be faster than that. But let's go to P2. Colton Petery. Also, two green sectors. Carry it. No, he will not. And it's not a faster lap. This is Little Parker. He has to be in the pits. He has to be um, considering something in the setup. Otherwise, why is he not out there chasing Adam? Because Adam is out there chasing. Like a man possessed. Even though he's leading by 1.3 seconds. And please ignore Sapinski in the background. Oh dear, 4,000 quicker in Sector 1. Go uphill here. Not 
from Nali again. Yellow flag. Oh, don't be there. To oh, that would be James Davy. Not the right place to park a car. Might get him a slap, I think. Might get the guy a slap. What are you doing, da James? James, you've taken damage. Go home. Anyway, Barker on an outlap. Four and a half minutes to go. He'll have time for. He'll have time for two laps, I think. Yeah, two laps. Go on with Stopinski coming out here. He is slightly faster lap now. Can he make it into the 150 freeze? The 153 855, that is a cons consolidation of P4. You're in and an out lap. Parker should be going. Can we get a timer on him? Apparently not. Now let's go look at some yellow flags. James, please. Let's hope he doesn't in um, has an interference on the championship battle. Uh, let's go see. Okay, Colin Barger has time for two laps. And he has to make them count. I'm getting a lot of audio on these cameras. Let's just, uh. Let's go on board here. Could have taken more room there. Or he tents down after sector one. Which would still put him ahead of Petery, but um let's see. Alright, let's go down to Acre Minale. It's an exit, let's go change some cameras. Until we find one we like. We'll go back to TV camera. Bye and Alta. It is... Is it invalid? Appar it's not invalid. It is not invalid. Stavy is underway. Yeah, that is... He'll have time for one more lap, though. Kurian, Petery, Stopinski, Lovinovichis, and Strasser are all in the pits. So it's going to be all eyes and Barker now. This is for all the marbles. Even the ones we didn't know we had. Jones, Swain, and Davy are all on the track. Direction, Jones and Swain. Swain being behind him and Jones somewhere on track. No, oh, Barker gives up. Barker simply gives up. That leaves us with two guys in the road. Jones and Swain. Go look at Jones here. No. Oh, the game has just declared it over. Adam Kurian gets the one point for winning qualifying. That means he is only seven points behind Colin Barker in the championship now. 
one for all the marbles. What will happen? We have a pure Hungarian front line. And as it stands, who knows where Peter's loyalties are? Is he gonna help Mercurian? Is he gonna stay out of the battle? We don't know. We haven't actually considered this before, but I think we'll have to consider it now. Ah, let's get some people on the grid. I can get camera angles going. Yeah. Does that fight the game a bit here? 20 laps in race 1, and then top 10 are... Or is it everyone are reversed for race 2? It has to be everyone. Can I please adjust the camera angles? There we go, let's stay on here with Kyrian, he will be our pole position. For all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen, the penultimate race of this season. And we're off. Okay, it says 11 laps. I am blind. What does it say? Does it say 11 laps? It says 11 laps. Let's see. People falling in behind Kurian. No heroics into Temporello. That is how you end up in the wall. Apparently a penalty. I didn't see for who though. Everyone makes it through the first corners. How about the nerf? Whoa! And there goes Lipinski. It is his race one curse. Every time we have a race one, he bins it. And it happened here. Which is unfortunate, but it happens. Let's go up and watch Tosa for the first time. Battle for uh, numbers one and two. We're in already putting quite some distance for Torpedo, who is in turn putting quite the distance to Barker. Let me just update my personal sheet here. I will just double check. If they come home like this. Kyrian will be two points hit in the standings. Yo, Kyrian hurt me and he decided to jinx it. Or did I jinx him? Ooh, and that is... He has not in charge sector free. Peter goes into the front here and then at the first lap. Colin Parker, Lorinovich here's an Adam Kurian. And Dean Swain, Julian Strasser, Alexis Jones, Kyle Stupinski, and James Davy, and now I can breathe again. That is that was unintentional. I mean that was not the intended consequences. Let's see. This puts Barker. Your other points. There's a lot of traffic behind Kyrian. And Lorinovich just goes whoosh. Keith Barker, as it stands right now, will sneak ahead further in the championship. Don't say we don't provide drama. It's, uh, I'm gonna go up here. Peter is leading the race. <laughs> Two seconds down to Barker. He doesn't have to care about that battle, though. Barker now has all the cards in his hand. He just needs to not screw it up. Right, let's go back here. Julian Strasser is attacking. And being denied by Lovinovicius. Alexis Jones doing a very good night run behind them. Not screwing up. Not crashing. And Stopinski has just 
and some time to speed. And with Davies in the pits, I believe he may have gotten a drive through penalty or something, stop go, or speeding, or for um, all starts, I think. Anyway, let's see, lap 2 is ending. Sultan Perry leading 2 seconds down, Colin Barker who has another second down to Alan Koryan. But it is P2 and P3 we are interested in. It is for all the marbles and as it stands, it's going to be an 11 point difference between them after the race. In Barker's favor, I'll have to add. Oh, but Korean is already eating up here. Does Adam simply have the raw pace tonight? Is this simply his track? Or is he just being overly aggressive? We'll see. He is definitely on the offense now. <clears throat> Ooh, pitch but sliding. He saves it though. But that could have been tragic. He is all over Barker's mirrors at this point. Hillary is sneaking up three seconds ahead now. As Barker is um, uh, busy with the other stuff, basically. Now the lap closes. The people um, behind Barker and Curran aren't that far away, so don't go around crashing because that will lose you a championship. Okay, locking on the inside. No dice. Oh, and Dean Swain goes off road behind them. Same place as Stupinski on lab one. Villeneuve is a difficult chicane. Oh, okay. he is looking again. Into Tosa. Or was that? That was Piratilla, sorry. Okay. Outside move, and he goes past. And then Kurian goes into P2. Will he hold it? He appears to be holding it. This is good, this is good. This changes the math. Barker will only be three points ahead in the championship now. Now let's see if Durant has that raw pace. Does him just pull away now? Eatery is not exactly slow. Is he dropping Barker? Oh, he might actually be dropping Barker. Barker simply has nothing to fight with today, apparently. And if it, if, if it wasn't, never mind. The Pinsky has done a thing. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what that thing is, but he has done it. And now he's throwing the car back up again. 
He is just cursed when it comes to race one. Simply cursed. Uh, as I was saying, Barker, now we're a second behind. If it wasn't for his eight point advantage going into today, I wouldn't have given him a chance at the championship. But he has that advantage and Kurian has been making some very dangerous moves and have had incidents before and in this uh, tonight actually. We'll simply have to see if it sticks. A slipstream for you. I'd actually work in this location. Or not? Nah. Go for a bit of bump. Oh, he is not letting go of Kurian. Oh, we got Yelfax. Strasser is out in the gravel somewhere. I believe he had a collision with Alexis Jones. I am not sure. We couldn't see it. But suddenly everything looked very interesting and Julian appears to have at least a flat, maybe even more. That is not a car that's enjoying life. But, you see, he is very far away from home. Very far away. Okay, that is a car that is in complete trouble. Was it Alexis Jones? I'm not sure. It, it looked like it on my display. And on my display, he suddenly got very close to Strasser and then Strasser spun out. But we don't know. Back up to the championship. Barker has caught a 10th. Looking at the inside, what is Kieran doing? He's baiting him or did he seem to make a mistake? Oh, Strasser has been passed by Stepinski. That is how bad the damage is. I think he's going to be telling someone some big words coming up. See more laps here. Arian slowly catching Pittery when he doesn't make any mistakes. Very slowly. Now there's four points between P2 and P3. But between P1 and P2, there's five points. And we are down there where we're doing that kind of math. Also, Lovinovicius is actually keeping up with those guys. I mean, it's always Alexis Jones, but Lovinovicius has him inside, which is pretty good. Is normally a mid table driver, but today he is fighting for it. Now, let's see. The three guys are split more or less evenly. For a moment, we're going to come out here. There's going to be four laps left. As Barker eats some gravel in the background. Barker definitely lost a lot of time on that gravel trip. And 
is not something you want to do. He has three seconds up, but um, always room for Kurian to do something and have an incident. That slap currently is at what Kurian, which means if this sticks and Kurian doesn't be not there again. Um, he's going to be two points behind Barker and hi Julian, you're in the chat now. Were you hit by someone? Or to the point where you're hit by Jones. Oh, okay, so Julian Strasser hit the curb, almost flipped the car, landed on his tires, and that broke everything. Oh, well, well. Uh, we have our top three guys here within three and a half seconds. Sure, and championship standings are Barker 196 points, Kurian 194. Three and a half laps to go to see if we can change that. Well, that in a another race. Parker is making up ground again after his um, eating gravel moment in Rivatsa. Um, right now, Petery is still running a very dominant race. But, um, hey, things happen. More gravel? We're up the hill here, down Piratella. I don't think Kurin is going to be able to close that gap. And Julian Strasser, despite being in my chat room, has come out to do another lap. And possibly to rig his car a bit more. Let's say it again, it is... Let's just take the whole classification again. It is Petery, Julian, Parker... Lovinovicius, Alexis Jones, Dean Swain, Paul Stopinski, Julian Berger Flipper Strasser, and James Davy in the pit. More yellow? Ooh! Alexis Jones decided to Tokyo drifted. Uh, but no harm, no foul, it seems. Two laps to go. Yeah. Kurian is just letting Petery run away with this one. And Barger cannot catch Kurian at this rate. Oh, we're just gonna wait for him to come home. We'll have to consider that there is gonna be another longer race with the grid reversed. Which can uh, really screw up all the plans as Stopinski has a yellow flag. He is, I mean, the Alexis Jones spin out of the corner. Where he was having a moment, I think.
of time. Go out on the final lap. Everything appears to be in order. People just have to not crash. to check have Peter actually won I has won at least one race this season. I just have to confirm it I think. Uh, he has he has not. This will be his first race this season. No this was win this season sorry. In fact it's is not his first win in this series though. He won back in season one on Ro Yeah no on Macau Grand Prix circuit. So there's that. Now Nalta for the last time. It is a very, very stable victory by Sultan Petery. Will be leading Adam Kurian in to the final race of the season. Colin Barker will be third and he will be two points ahead in the overall standings after this race. We'll have one more race to come here. It's going to be slightly longer and it's going to have a reverse grid. Stay tuned as I hit a bunch of buttons. And we look at the cars. Lovinovich is coming in at fourth. Elton Jones at I what I think is a season best fifth. Is season fifth. A uh, season best, sorry. In fact, it is actually his best overall here at track. That's a good one. Uh, let's see. Arinovicius, Swain, Stopinski stayed on the lead lap despite having well, all the problems in lap one. That's fine. Um, he'll have race two. He is always better in race two. I'm gonna put, go put on the camera here. That is obviously old hat here. Oh, let me just get some confirmation here. Yeah, fastest lap, Adam Cohen. That means it's gonna be 126 points. Put that on here again. A mere second ahead. Cohen with that 152.0. It is insane and, um, frankly, trouble seeing how people are going to compete with that. He did lead um, into this race, and then he had his mistake going into Rivatsa. And that's what cost him this win. Question is, will he have that mistake again? As we just have a commercial here for a track time. Got E. I a chair, I guess. Not really in the market for a chair, but it looked nice. Now let's just wait for the whole thing to blow over. Julian is in the chat saying pole position. Uh, he's not. 
Girlin is forgetting that um, Dean Swain exists. 30 seconds until we get a green light, though. At Dean Swain, sorry. Uh, James Davy. No, that is actually a bold decision. What am I saying? Alright, lights on. 14 laps. Once more for all the marbles. Eight hey, guys. Final race of the season. Let's go. And Dean Swain starts by completely missing his gear. Is that what you want to do? Not now, not now. But everyone makes it into P something? The Camparello? Parker has started his attack. Cherian, not able to make him past people. Oh, Peter and Parker are touching. Parker knows he has to get all the advantage he can now if he wants to win. But he goes past... No, he is not past anyone, actually. He's past Swain. And even that looks like it might not happen. Up ahead, it's Julian Strasser, Paolo Sapinski, and Paul Rinovich Sears. Right now, this is the one we're looking for. Colin Barker has gained positions. Kurian has not. Alexis Jones is a... Well, he's a stopgap. He is keeping people... And by people, I mean Hungarians from attacking. Not for the lack of trying, though. Still, Peter, he goes past. And Kurian is looking. Oh, he takes the gravel and everything. Is he gonna throw away the championship somehow? Not yet, though. Let's go down here and let's see. Julian Strasser leading the field out on lap two. Ahead of the Pitsky, Lovin Richards, challenge championship leader Colin Barker. Sultan Petery, and finally Adam Curran has made it past Alexis Jones. And somewhere behind, we find Dean Swain. The Barker is under attack, and he has room now. Oh boy, he has room. Keeping the sheet updated here. The big old... I know what places people are sheet. This puts... Mr. Barker three points ahead. Not three points, sorry. L... Five points ahead. Oh, and he's going past the Pinsky. Which means I have to update my sheet again. No peace for me. This is not good for Kuran. He has to go on the attack now. Either he is... Trying to muscle his way past, um, no, definitely muscling his way past the Pinsky. I'm not sure that was an illegal touch. Uh, I am not qualified to judge that, but there definitely was a touch. The Pinsky falls down. Down, down, down. Either he eats gravel, and it means... Uh, that should mean the Korean has to pay to go past. Unless he goes that way. Is he? Is Korean insane? Actually cutting on gravel. See, Barker is making his way up to Lorinovich here, who is in turn helplessly looking at Julian Strasser, who is just going ahead. I 
right now, Arthur is gonna be seven points ahead of Turian. Clock is ticking and it says 12 laps to go. Parker is wheeling and dealing his uh, Audi around. Completely unlike what he did in the first race where he drove very conservatively. Ah, Lovinovich is up Strasser again. Everyone is looking at someone. Urien has lost ground to Peter in the background. Everyone has a bit of slipstream. Parker can go into P2. Could just completely seal this championship. But of course, Lorinovicius and Strasser have their own interests to fight for. Namely, the Bracken Rights. Top two almost colliding. Let's switch the camera here for a bit. Aqua Minerali is a bold place to make a move. Five still within two seconds. A well-timed crash now can change everything. We might still get that though. Woo, Peter we goes into the gravel. This has to be Korean shot. He'll have the inside going to Tamborello, but he should be a hit even by the time they get there, and he does. The sheet gets updated once more. And it spells Kyrian being five points behind. And already up to Barker! This is it. This is the championship. In someone, I think Jones going backwards back behind them. But Curran goes past Barker. This is it. This is the big one, gentlemen. Because this means Curran is one point ahead of Barker. One point. And there are still two guys ahead of them. And Peter is just losing it down behind him now. Dean Swain has apparently retired. But other than that, no drama is on the horizon. Unless Kyrian hits someone. Parker also in an aggressive move now. He hasn't been aggressive all season. Why start now? Well, obviously because he is one point behind.
it is merely one point and nine laps. Ooh, <laughs> here we ain't going on two wheels, which is like too too few. It is not enough wheels. Urian wants to attack further. He wants that P2. So it is a four way battle for race. Four and a half if you include Petery. And in that battle, we have another battle for the championship. Oh, Kyrian. Does it? Oh, he does touch Lorinovicius. Uh, but it appears to be sticking. Kyrian is five points ahead of Parker now. Five points. And now Barker has to get past for Rinovitius because otherwise he is done for. Das's lap currently is Adam Curian, and that is worth one point. If it sticks. Oh, Curian is attacking. No dice. We can conclude that Peter we didn't help Kurian. That's for sure. Is he gonna fight him? That is the question. Is he gonna fight Barker? Does helping his uh, fellow Hungarian? We'll find out. All right, Hungary versus Austria. There's a lot of fighting in the background. The winner is just getting his slide slide. And the slide off road. Does that mean Barter has the speed? Oh, he does not. How about Kyrian? It is battle on battle now. And currently it is favoring Adam Kryan. Oh, can he go in the lead? Julian has to have a better position. Whee! <laughs> what a move! Oh, it sticks. Adam Kurian goes into the lead. And that is just about gonna be it for Colin Parker. Durian now has a 10 point advantage. 11 if you count the fastest lap. That is not to say that it's over. Seven laps to go. There can definitely be a crash. But Barker knows that he is in trouble. Oh, here comes Petery. Petery is attacking Barker.
No room. Should we worry about that? Sir? What is a ticking? Six laps to go now. Has to come and attack from bar her. Instead, Petery is looking to um, shoot Parker now. Shoot him in the back. Or shoot him from the back. Petery goes to the gravel again. I just gonna look down here a bit. The Pinsky and Jones are fighting for P6. That means every single driver on the track is involved in a battle right now. Make of that what you want. Oh, I see. Stras is looking at Kurian again. No dice. Barker, also no dice. Hitting Parker. That's so big that it actually ends the race. But it almost could have. Five laps to go. Status is that Kurin is going to be 11 points ahead of him. Correction is gonna be average in the math here, seven points ahead. Seven or eight points at least. Vinskin Jones still fighting. Here we also in the mood for a fight. Although this is more for the bragging rights. Deadly for the bragging rights. Build it here. Parker has three seconds up to Adam Kavayan. And Stresser in the middle is the man holding this together. But not by a lot. Peter is making a move. Peter has made the move going into P4. Or what? No. Oh, they're touching, but Lovitovich is yields. Next, the Pinskin Jones still bumper to bumper. And door to door now. 
Doing a very intimate touch and a bit of black. But Stepinski goes past Jones. Let's go back up here to top three. Calm down, um, Barker has made up a few tents. It's not enough. Okay, we're gonna come down. We're gonna come down here. Three laps to go in this championship. Lot left. So you gonna sit here, we can go back to the pictures and wait. Go back to Korean here. He has to go 10 kilometers without a crash. Two laps to go. Everything appears to be settled. It is Adam Curian, Julian Strasser, Colin Barker, Salton Petery, Saulius Lovinovichus, Hal Stupinski, and Alexis Jones. Get up here to that would be Tosa. We're coming uphill here to Piratella. And down to Akra Minerale for the pin ultimate time. Down to Rivazza. There is gonna be one lap left for this championship. And the way things are, Adam Curran is gonna take this championship. And we're all gonna go wow. Status is Barker will finish with 200 
12 points. And Adam Curran will finish with 220 points. Last lap. Korean going up the hill for the last time. And down the hill again. It is about stuff for the last time. Coming up in a moment. One corner left. And this is gonna mean it. This is gonna be the way it is. Adam Curian wins race two at Imola and wins season three of the track tcr championship oh lord he is spinning that is a party celebration julian strasser comes in p2 and behind him comes colin parker who finishes second in the championship peter lovinovich's jones and stopinski makes up the rest of the finishers today but this moment belongs to adam kurian that is a championship and a help. It's just getting some confirmation on it here, but I have been doing my own math. Full position, two fastest lap, second and first this event. He came in eight points behind Barker starting this event, and he will finish it eight points ahead. And hello, Alexis Jones, in the chat. You actually had a very good event, I think. Pretty darn good. It is, however, not at Ontarian levels. And hello, Julian, and we're gonna cut the commercials again, so I am gonna go put my very handsome face on. You have been watching the Season 3 Track TCR Championship. I have been on here for the past six weeks. And I'm going to drop the Discord link once more. If you're interested in joining for Season 4, which is started in, what, four weeks-ish? The link is in the chat right now. And next season, I'm not going to reveal anything. It'll be posted on the Discord, but there's going to be some changes, and there's going to be... This is going to be a bigger grid. There's going to be more stuff to do. More room for everything. In fact, Julian has posted the thing on Twitter now. On Discord, sorry. So if you're watching this, um, go to the link in the chat or in the description or wherever you're watching this. Come join us. I'm just fiddle with the buttons a bit more. I can show it if I want. We'll have one quick thingy I'll have to show first. One brief moment. Brown will show us season four. Uh, image. Image. Oh, we just gotta fit this in here. This is gonna be our season or schedule. If I can actually fit the screen. 
We're gonna have six races starting at Portimao on the 12th of October. We're gonna go to the Sepang Bands and we're gonna start with two free tracks. And then we're gonna go to the Red Bull Ring, which is one of my favorite tracks. Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course shows up again. Then Suzuka and then Watkins Glen. It's a selection of great tracks. A lot of them you'll already have or own. Which means it's gonna be cheaper to participate this season. And for season 4, and I'm just going to confirm this before I say something dumb. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Julian. Boss. Julian, you're chat. on air. I hope everyone can hear me. Yes, they can. That is great. I just wanted to say again, uh, thanks everyone for this season. And you can see on uh, the screen uh, what we have planned for next season, starting at the 12th of October in Portimao. I hope that many people uh, will show up and anyone, uh, you can invite your friends, you can tell anyone you want. Please, we want to have as many people as possible in this uh, and that, that's why we made also made it a bit more accessible, starting with Portimao and Sapang. Um, so please, yes, uh, and... enjoy the break and see you on the racetrack. All right, and I'll just continue talking about next season then. Thank you, Julian. Thank you. Oh, we, you can cut off. All right, so we're gonna have. Slightly multi-class racing. There's going to be GTR4s on the track now, because more or less, pace-wise, they're the same as the TCR. But we're going to have splits, too. So it's going to be run race, two cars, right? And then we're going to do a, a new format, basically. Three races in a weekend, which are going to be around 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 2 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes, sorry. There's going to be three races in one event, so everyone has a shot. And it's going to be hot, and it's going to be beasty, it's going to be aggressive, and all those very nice words. And that is basically going to be it here. Um, and I'm Curian, Season 3 champion, joining the ranks of Lucas Fisher, and what is his name again? I have forgotten who won in Season 1, that is embarrassing. But nonetheless, we're going to have a season starting 12th of October. And people are laughing at me now. 12th of October. Come join us. It's fun. It's cheap. You're right. Kirk helped one last season. Shut up. And Fisher won in season one. It's going great, isn't it? Anyway, Adam Curran has won. I've been Handsome Lars. You have been watching Trek. And um, I'll see you on the 12th of October. If not before. Bye bye.